Hi people, it's Rick from Tackle Village again. Uh, today we're going to tie a very effective and very popular dry fly, the Elk Hair Caddis. Now, uh, we're going to tie this on a size 14 hook. I've used a um, TMC100 Tiemco hook, size 14. Okay, so we start off by putting that hook in the vise. Okay, and just uh, taking brown uh, thread and just laying down a nice thread base. Oh, not quite tight enough in the vise there. We'll fix that in one moment. Okay, tighten the vise up slightly. Brilliant. Take the scissors and trim that off. Okay, first step with this fly is uh, to tie in a small strand of copper wire um, to hang off the back of the fly to wrap the uh, hackle when we put that on. So you just tie that uh, wire in there at the from the start of the bend. Okay, that's our wire tied in. Now, next step is to take some dry fly dubbing and uh, wrap that, uh, dub it forward about three quarters of the way up the shank. I'm just going to grab a small pinch of dubbing and get this process started. Always with dubbing, um, use less than you think you're going to need. Um, it'll help with the consistency of the dubbing rope that you're going to form. I guess I should be more specific, less in, in, in each, each individual pinch than you think you'll need. Okay, now we've got quite a decent long uh, dubbing rope there. We can just slowly start working that forward. I don't think this will get us all the way, but we can always uh, refill which I will do now. Tiny bit more, and then just always when we're twisting it on, twist it in the same direction. Sort of resist the urge to sort of go back and forth when you're twisting it on. All right, tiny bit more. I think that should see us out. Okay, so I'm building the body. Perfect. Okay, that should be just about right, I think. My right, next step is to um, tie in the feather, um, brown uh, hackle feather here. Now what I've done is your feather. If you'll see the individual fibers are about equal to the gape of the hook, so that's about roughly correctly sized feather. I'm going to prepare that just by cutting off the barbules for the first couple of millimetres on, um, on the feather, just so we can tie it in. So what we'll do is we'll tie that in close to the eye. Just wrap that down to get rid of those fibres there. Okay, now we have our bit messy apologies about this. Would have liked to have avoided that step, but it doesn't always go as planned. Okay, so now our approach is to what's called palmer this feather back, this hackle feather, which is to wrap it at an angle, taking relatively big steps back towards the tail of the fly as we wrap this feather to create that palmered body. Maybe there's sort of a millimetre or, or two between each wrap and we're sort of probably going to end up doing five wraps as we go back. Brilliant. There's our fifth wrap. Now the approach is to take the wire the opposite direction to which we took our feather. Still holding the tension on the feather. Apologies if my hands are obscuring this. Okay, so we're holding the tension on the feather and we go grab the wire and we go once and twice. I usually do a third wrap on the other side of the feather. And now 
that's got our feather anchored and we'll trim that off at the end. Now what we need to do is do the exact opposite process with the wire. So we're bringing the wire through the body of the fly to provide that rib but also to anchor the hackle. So I'm just winding that up. Again you'll probably be similar spacing so perhaps that's taken perhaps five or six turns. Okay, now we've gone, got that. Wrap with the thread. Once on that side. Once on this side. And then just once behind the wire for good measure. And now we are ready to trim off both the hackle and the wire. That's got rid of the wire. And now the hackle fibre. Excellent. And now we're ready for the final step, which is to put our deer hair um, onto the fly, the deer, deer hair over wing. Uh, sorry, elk hair. Now elk hair is a bit tricky to work with, mainly just because the um, fibres can be fairly different in length. So it's a bit of an effort to get them into the hair stacker. But I've done that um, off camera. And you'll just hear me tapping now. I'm just tapping the um, hair stacker to make sure the um, our elk hair is aligned when I bring it out of the stacker. Okay, so I've got our um, elk hair. That's just there. And I'm just gonna tie that in. Now it needs to go back to roughly the tail of the, the fly to create the overwing. All right, so I'm gonna tie it in about there. And just wind this up, this thread up slightly. And we're gonna tie it in just using that sort of pinch method, anchor it, and just do one wrap, not so tight. Next wrap, slightly tighter. Third wrap, tighter still. And then we've probably got it pretty much anchored. We don't want to let it twist at this point. That's why I'm holding it very tight. And then just gradually ratcheting up the pressure so in a way that I clamp it, but don't break the thread. Okay, I think that's perfect. We'll let that hang down. Yeah, I like it, it looks okay. Um, next step is to put a dab of super glue in here, just to hold that all where it is. That's the super glue done. Now we'll whip finish. Actually, I beg your pardon, we will cut, first of all, cut the elk hair. We can cut this out of 45, it's going to be a little tricky to do the camera here. We cut this at a 45 degree angle to form the head. Caddisfly's got sort of quite a pronounced sort of head on it. Okay, I think that's okay. It's a little messier than I might have liked. But it'll do for the demonstration purposes. All right, so I'm gonna whip finish the, through the head there. Well, we just have to tidy that head up a bit before we... Okay, let's try again. Okay, whip finish through one. Oops, not quite catching that hook eye. One, two. a couple of the fibers from the head here which isn't ideal let's clean that up as I cut that off okay and there we go that is our elk hair caddis